Family Name Medical Center is trying to create more scenes like this, a coronavirus recovered patient heading home, the result of receiving investigational drugs, pharmaceuticals not made for COVID-19, but known to attack the effects of the virus. The FDA greenlights such drugs for clinical trials or individual compassionate use. Holy Name is the first in the nation to use the latest one, Pluristem, cells from a placenta injected into the arms and legs of a 49-year-old COVID-19 man on a ventilator. The working theory for the cells starts with the mother's body not rejecting the fetus when giving birth. Probably there's something in the placenta, which might indeed be in these stromal cells, that calms down that immune reaction and tells the mother, do not attack this embryo or, or this fetus. So we're actually using those properties of calming down the immune system. We're using that now with COVID-19, trying to calm down that hyperimmune reaction that we're seeing that a lot of patients have, and that's actually creating a lot of harm. So Dr. Murakami, if you can achieve that goal that you're talking about, what then would happen to the organs, the, the things that the virus seems to attack? So we would expect to see that there's less harm. Dr. Ravit Barkama says the man is one of three critically ill patients without organ failure in the U.S. to receive the placenta cells for compassionate use. We are encouraged because the patients are doing better, but it's still hard to say that it's because of the cells and we need a, a significantly larger group of patients to be able to say that it's effective. Holy Name has used Pluristem before, two years ago, in a clinical trial, one of only a couple of hospitals in the country. Robert Masterson, a diabetic, had wounds that wouldn't heal and had to have limbs amputated. He received 30 stem cell injections. In essence, what we're injecting is going to recruit the development of blood vessels, cells that are involved in healing of wounds. At a checkup 16 months later. Well, I've been able to do the stationary bike every day, at least 10 to 15 minutes every day. I have less trouble walking. They've saved my feet, I think, really. Your life potentially too? I would say so. Well, I wouldn't say it's a miracle, but it's definitely the future of medicine. For Dr. Barkama, that future could be now, as Holy Name uses several therapies to improve the conditions of hundreds of coronavirus patients. The toolkit that the physicians had here at Holy Name and in other hospitals, that toolkit was basically empty. We didn't have treatments. At this point, we don't have clearly proven treatments, but we have quite a bit of treatments that we at least perceive most of them as, as safe. So we would not try something investigational if it didn't have a good safety profile. In other words, if it didn't have the potential of leading to more success stories like this. We're injecting hope, not just cells. In TNEC, Michael Hill, NJTV News.